Would you like to serve delicious fried chicken in crispy golden brown batter like this one? You will need to be precise in preparation. Make sure to follow all the Holly Powder instructions. They will be very helpful in the entire process. It is essential for the meat's temperature to stay below 4 degrees Celsius. The meat must be cold. Try not to keep it out of the refrigerator for too long during the process. Wash the meat in cold running water. Let the water drain from the chicken. Before you begin to cut the meat, make sure there are no bones or any pieces of cartilage left inside. Remove all membrane or any unwanted parts. First, pull the loin off. It should be between 25 and 30 grams. This is the correct size and shape of the strips. Begin cutting from the place where the loin was attached. You should get one or two strips from the breast, depending on its size. Turn the breast over, smooth side up, and cut at an angle. The thicker the element, the smaller the angle of the cut. Don't continue to cut the entire breast. Instead, cut crosswise to get the last two to three strips. This technique will give you strips that have the right shape, each weighing between 25 and 30 grams. Place the pieces in a bowl and let them rest in the marinade in a refrigerator. To prepare the marinade, you will need a bowl, a whisk, cold water, the holly powder marinade and ice. Please refer to the information tables within the holly powder instructions to get the correct amount of marinade, water and ice. Mix the ingredients thoroughly. The quantity of the ingredients will be different depending on the type of the marinade, hot or mild, and whether you are preparing strips or elements with bone. Pour the marinade over the cut meat. It may seem as though there is much marinade. That's great! It will make the chicken juicy and the batter flaky. Always use protective gloves to massage the meat. It should take approximately five minutes to massage the meat by hand. There are two methods of massaging the meat. The first one is by collecting the meat inward, slightly raising it. The second one involves the thumbs. All done. The whole marinade found its way into the meat. Let the marinated meat rest in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours or the whole night. To coat the meat, you will need a container for the coating and a bowl for water with a basket. It is important to keep your hands dry throughout the coating process. Use kitchen tongs to move the meat around. Depending on the size of the frying machine, place the correct amount of meat into the water. Let the water drain. You may gently shake the basket. Evenly place the pieces of meat in the coating. Never touch the meat directly, only through the coating. Separate the strips, gently lifting them from the bottom. Next, begin the coating using the CPT principle. Collect, press, toss. Collect the meat and cover it with the coating powder. Press the coating to the meat, toss the coated meat. Collect, press, toss. Repeat this six times. Gently grab two strips by their ends and shake off the excess coating by tapping your wrists against one another three times. Place them in water for the second time. With practice, you will be able to grab four pieces of meat at the same time. Make sure all elements are in the water. Gently shake the basket, especially when coating large quantities. For the second time, evenly place the strips in the coating. Just like before, gently separate the pieces of strips, lifting them from the bottom. This time, begin the coating using the CT principle. Collect, toss. Do not press. Try to coat the meat to make it as fluffy as possible. Collect the meat and cover it with the coating. Toss the meat in the coating powder. Like the first time, repeat this six times. Gently grab two strips by their ends and shake off the excess coating by tapping your wrists against one another three times. Place the elements in a frying basket. Immediately after filling the basket, dip it in hot oil at 170 degrees Celsius. After 30 seconds, shake the basket or turn the strips to fry them evenly. Depending on the frying machine, the approximate frying time is three and a half minutes. Congratulations! You can now enjoy the taste of perfectly flaky and juicy chicken.
in the Holly Powder Coating. You can find more information and the necessary instructions on our website, www.hollypowder.com.